Hi, my name's John Fallor and I'm a ranger with the Phillip Island Nature Parks. I've been a ranger here for 20 years and uh, I've been looking after the Hooded Plover program during that time. Hi, my name is Shani and I work in the conservation department in the Hooded Plover program. We set up refuges on the beach to help with the Hooded Plover nesting and protect the nest and monitor the birds to make sure that they're safe from the public and other threats like ravens and magpies and dogs on beaches. Now, put of plovers have been monitored on Phillip Island since the 1950s. However, during the 70s and 80s, it was noticed that there was quite a decline in numbers until there were less than 20 birds on the island. During the 90s, some local conservation organisations and volunteers got together and started to monitor a little more closely and looking at protecting these birds. Since that time, the numbers have swelled to over 50. So there's been successes, but it's still it's a yearly program that needs to keep going to look after these birds. If you were entering onto the Phillip Island Nature Park beaches and you have your dog with you, just make sure that you keep it on a lead and keep it to the water's edge next to the refuge areas.